I'm chips and uh, I'm stunning. United fans up here. One second. Did you see the, the, the dog come and beat the cat up there? <laughs> yeah. And took the, yeah. The poor cat had worked really yeah. hard to get that. And Hello there. Um, I'm sat in one of my favourite places, uh, the Taverna Selly in Lackey, which is the most beautiful place in the White Mountains. It's a wonderful place. I'm sat with an old buddy of mine since 2012, Michaelis Kanilakis, who is one of the, not only the best guide, the most knowledgeable man I've ever met in Cree. So all I'm going to do is say to you, friend, would you tell us a little bit about what you do and how you do it? First, it's an honor for me, for Anal, to say these good words. Secondly, I'll speak a little about this magnificent place called Crete, full of history. Under every rock, you can hear a myth, you can find a, a fairy tale, a story, or whatever. So, about what we try to do as a small company, family owned, we try to show to the tourists and to the guests actually a little bit different picture of our island, most focused in the inner land, in the good food, good olive oil, good wine, because simplicity is always, simple things are always the best. So we try to avoid also, you know, these crowded, play, uh, famous places. That's a small word about what we do. You can find us online, www.creedprivateguide.com, and you are always welcome to come in Crete. And I can recommend him, is the best, so make sure you, next time you're in Crete, you get in touch with my mate here and he'll take good care of you. He always has taken good care of us. <laughs> and... Ah. Oh my god. What oh. are we saying? Oh, we can make it. Oh. One of the best tavernas I've ever been in. We've been coming here for a decade now and Iona makes the best cleftico on the planet. We sit here, we've had a feast again, we drink the local wine, it's a wonderful place to come. The silence is deafening, it's just a fabulous place to come and I can recommend this place very very highly. I could add uh, in the information that Alan gave you about Selly and the village of Lucky most people are farmers 
they produce the best quality products with a, a long history behind all these preparations they make very good cheese the goats the goats they I had. apologize for that it was a Cretan crazy farmer, eh? Cretan that was, crazy farmer that was coming. Timing. Yeah. Excuse Excuse me. Me. <laughs> and uh, the, the, the meat they use in the restaurant is always made by uh, the farmers themselves. It's very good goats without any uh, added food. You know, they just eat herbs in the mountains, training very hard. The tomato are the old Cretan tomatoes, which doesn't look exactly like a tomato, but it's much more tasty. Jajiki, mm. traditional Jajiki. Cretan plate. And about the village of Laki, I have to tell you that historically it was one of the most important villages of the mountains. The most famous warlords come from here together with Theriso, played a very important role to the revolution. And also here in Laki, in the winter, they have the luck to be the, the first village on the White Mountains that the snow starts. So end of December, the first snowflakes of Hania start falling from Laki and above. The winter they have nice stoves as you'll see inside. The one is sitting around the fire and telling photos from the past and for the future. That's all for us. is one of the most important personalities uh, we had uh, during the period of the Turkish occupation. He was a warrior, he's an actual size statue, so he was like a very big, tough guy. He tried to inspire very much the lucky people and the Cretan people to make the revolution, one of the revolutions against the Turks. He played a very important role in organizing the resistance. He have been in the holy grounds, that's why he's his uh, nickname is Hadzis, as you say, so his name was Michalis Yanaris, uh, but because he went to the Holy Grounds, Jerusalem and all the Holy Grounds, he took the nickname Hadzis. He's holding a, pap a, pap a papyrus, you know, yeah. because it symbolized the knowledge, he was educated, he was smart, and he was also a very, very big personality. The local legend says that he tried to inspire his co-fellows to go for a, for a revolution. They were all scared after so many battles lost. Nobody followed him. One day in a big gathering he did with the warlords, he goes away from the gathering and suddenly all the villains see a big fire. They run towards his house and they see him sitting on a table with a glass of wine, smoking a sisa and his house on fire. So everyone says, what's happening? Your house on fire? And he said the famous phrase, tomorrow I go to the battle, I have nothing to lose. So he was a very inspiring personality, wow. local hero, one of the most famous one in uh, Crete. Amazing. Small information well, for him. I remember you telling me that story. Now. He yeah, said, I've nothing to lose now. Yeah. What? Give us a wave. Hola, Kala. So we are 1600 meter, but we, this is the, the place opposite if you like to film there, Nick. So 16, 1600 meters opposite the mountain. They were in the position Prinoselli Stefanoporos. They were killed, murdered, murdered, murdered. by the Germans yeah. uh, in the in the conflict of 18 uh, February 1928 of February 1944. The freedom fi freedom fighter and revolution resistance fighters 
Ανδρέας Βανδούλας yeah. and the New Zealander Dudley, Dudley Perkin yes. known as Vasilis, Vasilis. as Bill. Yeah. Your, and here the Cretans curved, your heroic death is for us an example. Uh, your co-fighters co for the Greek resistance 1941-1946. It's amazing, eh? In a good yeah, condition, yeah, the angel up there, a little representation of an angel because they were angels, these people sacrificed for us. Like a small Z, like a path. You see it? Yes, I do. Uh, there, uh, on the top of this road, exactly yeah. is the cave. Stefano Poros, just a, a, a little like, like a valley that goes uh, where they were betrayed, yes, yeah. by, uh, by some.